At the heart of a Pickering reed relay is the highest quality reed switch. The two switch blades are made from nickel iron. The contact surfaces are coated in a suitable material in order to give a long life to the device. This will usually be ruthenium, rhodium or where very high voltages are involved, tungsten due to its high melting point and resistance to welding. These contact materials will be either electroplated or sputtered in a vacuum. The switch blades are enclosed within a hermetically sealed glass tube. Within this tube will be either an inert gas, usually nitrogen, or in the case of high voltage switches, a vacuum. Unlike open relays, this ensures that the contacts will not oxidise. Cleanliness is of the utmost importance as even microscopic particles will affect the contact resistance stability and life of the part. A reed switch is operated in the presence of a magnetic field, as illustrated here. As the magnet approaches the reed switch, the blades will become magnetically polarised and will become attracted to each other, closing the switch. When the magnet is removed, the switch will return to its open state. Of course, a reed relay does not have a magnet to operate the switch. Instead, the magnetic field is generated by an electrical current flowing through the turns of an operating coil, which is fitted over the reed switch. These coils are wound on automated machinery where an adhesive on the copper wire allows them to be self-supporting, dispensing with the more usual bobbing and allowing smaller relays to be designed. These coils often have many thousands of turns of very fine wire. When the operating voltage is applied to the coil connections, a magnetic field is generated which will close the switch, in the same way as it was when operated by the permanent magnet in the earlier illustration. The signal being switched will now flow through the closed contact. Removal of the coil drive will cause the switch to revert to its open state. The reed coil assembly is now made into a relay by attaching it to a lead frame. The majority of our relays includes an optional internal diode to clamp any back EMF generated by the coil inductance when the coil supply is turned off. A mu metal screen with an insulating coating is added to the encapsulating shell which eliminates problems that would otherwise be encountered due to magnetic interaction between parts. Mu metal is used rather than steel as it has a very high permeability and very low magnetic remanence. The relay assembly is then inserted into the package and it is partially filled with a flexible material in order to provide protection of the sensitive glass to metal seal of the reed switch capsule. Pickering's soft center construction. The package is then filled to the surface with a hard epoxy in order to firmly retain the device pins. The relay is then oven cured in order to achieve the optimum high insulation resistance of the encapsulating resins. The package is then printed with the Pickering name and the part number. The salvage bar of the lead frame is removed before the relay is thermally cycled, hot and cold, several times before every part is fully tested for all operating parameters.